Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, having completed, uh, let's see if we can go down here a little bit. Having completed all this stuff in section three, all the way through the Skyrim prefs, uh, INI tweaks, we're going to start the Devokian comes with the unofficial patches. This is where things start to get interesting. We're going to actually start installing mods, which are going to affect the game. We've, uh, we've kind of done that a little bit, the uh, texture mods. But um, these are actually going to be gameplay mods, things that will actually you, you'll be able to, to notice on, on screen. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to say before we get started with this, I said, I think it was in the last episode, I talked about why this bit right here, why you need to extract the BSAs. And I was talking about uh, game performance and how, you know, the game doesn't have, can skip a step in uh, extracting the texture files out of the BSA archive. Um, which will speed things up, and that's true. Now, I don't know if the uh, the mechanics of the engine, whether the, the the textures are extracted during the load screens or if they're extracted on the fly while you're playing the game, but either way, uh, by skipping that step, it will improve performance because I, you know, I've I'm a programmer. I worked with I've worked with some archives before, um, actually manually unpacking archives, and it is not a fast or easy process. Let me tell you. However, having said all that. Um, I was also informed uh, by Stephanie that there's another reason, and it has to do with load order. And um, he linked something for me, and um, it's a very interesting read, actually. If you're interested in uh, the load orders and how all that kind of stuff works, you really should read it. It's it's quite fascinating, actually. So um, I'll link that in the description so you guys can, can take a look at that if you are so inclined. So anyway, we will continue on with the unofficial patches. So yes, we're on the Devokian comms and there's all this stuff you guys should read all through all this running loot, etc., all this kind of thing. Okay, we're going to do the unofficial patches and we're going to do two of them right now. The unofficial Skyrim legendary patch edition, legendary edition patch and the unofficial high resolution patch. Okay, these two are the next thing on our list. So this is where things kind of get somewhat routine. Uh, all this stuff that we did up here was kind of, you know, a bunch of different things that we did. This is where things, you know, it's basically just installing one mod after another at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up Mod Organizer so that this is running. Okay, there we go. So here we've got Mod Organizer running. You see we've got five active slots being used out of the 253, I think, that we have available, or 250, well, if you don't count these two, there's 253 available, 255, or 256, really, uh, but these two take up two, and then the save game takes up one, so there's 253 in addition to these, these two. Okay, that's how that works. All right, so let's go to the web page and go to the unofficial Skyrim Legendary patch. We want to get version 3.0. So let's go here and then download NMM. Just say continue. Okay, so we should be downloading. Yep, there we go. All right, so this is going to take a minute. Okay, guys, so while that's going, let's talk about this for a minute, what we're doing here for a minute, because um, I didn't really mention what this is for. And I'll try to talk about what each patch does or each mod does as we're as we're downloading them this is the unofficial patch this is a bug fix patch so you can see here the goal is to eventually fix every bug in skyrim and dlcs to the limits of the creation kit okay so there's hundreds of gameplay quests objects placement bugs fixed yeah that's the the purpose of this um, the unofficial high resolution patch i'm going to install that i'm going to try running the game and and once we're done with that i'm going to try something and see if it fixes that that one bug we had with the, the snow without us having that extra mod in. Okay, so this is done. All right, so let's go ahead and let's check out our instructions if there's anything special we have to do. It says, special inst installation. Do not install the following files or folders. Docs folder, unofficial Skyrim Legendary Edition patch BSL. Okay, so by the way, make sure we get the right version 3.00, which we should do, which is 3.00, yeah. Sorry, I kind of... I downloaded it from here. I probably shouldn't do that. I shouldn't hit this button. I should go to the files section and make sure we're downloading the right thing through here. Um, in this case, there's only one file, so what we did was fine here, but that's probably not the best idea to hit this thing anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and install, and we're going to do manual. So, again, remember the instructions, wherever they want. Okay, do not install 
docs folder or the BSL. Okay, so we'll take off the BSL, we'll take off the docs, we'll keep everything else. Remember, the BSA is going to automatically unpack. So and this thing says looks good, so hit OK. So there you go, the BSAs are unpacking right now. Okay, so there you go. This is again where I need more screen spaces. Okay, so guys, this is, should go directly after Dragonborn Optimized, the unofficial Skyrim legendary patch. So after Dragonborn Optimized, here. So if I turn this on right now, it's sitting here. I'm going to lift this up to here. That's where it's ought to go. Okay, these things just all went red. Well, it is what it is. That's what it says to do. So I'm going to say, assume it knows what it's doing. All right, so there's your first patch. So let's go back to our instructions again, guys. So now we're going to do the unofficial high resolution patch. So let's go there, and we'll go to Files, and this is version 1.19a, which I suspect is the version, oops, 1.19a, that's the one he wants. So let's go ahead and download with Manager, and continue. I'm going to close this page. These things have um, advertisements and stuff on them that are really, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know, they're they're really bad for your browser. Um, they'll slow you down and actually crash your browser after a while. Okay, there you go, guys. So we've got the unofficial high-resolution patch. Let's go ahead and run that manual again. So our little thingy says it looks good. Now we need our instructions, wherever those are again. Try to move this over here. So it says, do not install the docs folder. So we'll take that off. Uh, unofficial high resolution patch, the dummy ESP, we do not need. And we do not need the BSL. So really, it's just the BSA that we're after. So, OK. And there you go. So back to our instructions. The unofficial high resolution patch ought to go after the last optimized texture thing. So really right here. And we'll uh, go ahead and activate that. See, it didn't pop up over here because all this is is the BSAs. OK, let's see if I can tell this to ignore the update. Yeah, it, I can. I'm going to get rid of this. It's It's been bugging me. This doesn't have the right version number on it, so. I'm going to just turn these off. These are just the uh, texture packs. Let's just turn off those warnings. I like to keep it nice and clean just so, um, you know, if something does pop up that we need to pay attention to, it's not buried in, in a bunch of other, you know, red flags. So, okay. So there you go, guys. We've got the, um, the two resolution packs. I'm going to try something here. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to turn off the, the high res texture pack to fix for a second. I've got a feeling this might have fixed that problem, but let's go find out. I'm just curious to see if this works. It's going to work. Okay, guys. So, yes, you can see that blue stuff's back, and that's because I turned off that one fix. So, I guess that high resolution texture pack doesn't fix that problem. So, that's good to know. So I'll go back to the desktop, and we'll just turn this back on. It's interesting, interesting little uh, effect there. I'm surprised he doesn't mention that in the in the guide actually. Um, it's kind of weird. Anyway, okay, so let's go on. We've we've installed the unofficial patches. So this is just bug fixes. Uh, there's nothing really we can test this with really that I know of. We'll just have to take it on faith that it's. <laughs> You know it's gonna it's gonna work. So let's go to the resource mods. Now this is um this is not stuff that's directly going to do anything to our game. It's just 
resources that are going to be used by some of the other mods we're going to install. Kind of similar to when we install tools. So let's go to eating, sleeping, drinking. And what we want here is the the animations package. That's all we're after. We're not actually after this mod. So in, in this case, you really have to go to the files. And then down here in the optional files, the animations package is what we're after. So let's go ahead and install that. So there you go. It's already done. Let's go ahead and install. Let's see if we have any special instructions here. Let's close that. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, that's, that's all. It's just the meshes. So go ahead. So there you go. Now again, we've got some kind of weird flag going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off. Okay, let's pop that on. Hey, I don't want to rename it. Just turn it on. Thank you. Okay, that is... Also, that pack is not... It doesn't have a, a an ESM associated with it, so it's not actually affecting our our numbers here. So that's good. So continuing on to the next one, uh, file access interface for Skyrim script. So this is just something that many mods use as a resource as a way to save and reload MCM settings. The MCM is the uh, oh I forget what it stands for, but it's the thing on the menu that you, where you can set things, set up mods and whatnot. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go to the files page. So what are we after here? Uh, one, two, one, file access interface, for Skyrim script. This guy right here looks like this is an example. These are old versions. Okay, so 1.21 is the version we're after, I believe. Yep. So here we go. Download the manager. I'll close this so it doesn't start crashing my browser. And install. Okay, it looks like we need all this stuff. I don't think there's any special instructions here, right? Uh, nope. So it does depend on SKSE, which we already have, so that's fine. So, okay. So there's SKSE right here. So this has to go underneath SKSE. Can't, like, stick it up on top of it. Let's go ahead and install that. So that should have, yeah, there it is, FSI, FISS, there it is. So that's our sixth mod. Okay, back to our instructions, and then we'll do the Papyrus Modder Scripters utility functions. So again, just more functions for the, the mods to use. This is not really anything that affects our game directly. So let's go to the files. And we're after version 3.2, is that right? He says 3.1. Hmm, we've got an update here, apparently. Well, do we go with the newest version? Interesting question. This was just updated on January 4th. I'm going to go ahead and do the new version. Potentially could get us into trouble. Um... But it shouldn't. I mean, you know... It could conceivably, but I'm going to go with the 3.2. Okay, SKSE 1.73 required. Yes, we should have SKSE 1.73. Yes, we do. So that's fine. So there it is. Let's go ahead and install it. Uh, we do not need the README file, I believe he said. Let's close that. Yes, the README file we can take out. Everything else is good. And turn it on. Looks good to me. Uh, oddly, it doesn't it doesn't appear over here. Interesting. I wonder why that is. I guess because it's just utility functions. So it doesn't actually load anything into the game, maybe. Interesting, interesting. Okay, guys. Let's see where we're at here. So we got a list of fixes coming up. I think I'm going to stop this video here. We can run and make sure everything's running okay. We should actually probably run loot just to make sure everything's ordered in the proper order. We've got it ordered the way he's suggested, so I don't think it, loot's going to change any orders. But um, it's a good idea to run loot. 
just to make sure everything's ordered properly. So I'll hit the, let's update the, the meta list, or the master list, and sort. See, really, the only thing we've really added is the FS, F, FISS, to be honest. Everything here looks fine. We don't have any errors, so go ahead and apply. Close that. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and run. Let's make sure everything's working okay. Whoops, we're running load again. I'm sorry. No, nope, my bad. I meant to run SKSE. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Hit yes. I just realized something that, that might cause us problems. You see that blue's gone. That's nice. We're getting some... Well... If you spin in a 360 degree arc and you get um, like some jerkiness to it, it's a, it's a sign that you have to change that one variable in the script. And I got a little bit, but it was right at the beginning of the game. It might not have completely loaded yet, so I'm not going to worry about it yet. We'll try it again later on. There's Ember Shard Mine. Uh, everything looks like it's okay. Let me pull up the menu. Yeah, looks fine. Okay, so let's quit out of here to the desktop. And there you go. The one thing I thought might cause us problems is uh, the FISS, I thought, might have a dependency on um, Sky UI, which apparently it doesn't. So, okay, it's all good. This has a dependency on bathing in Skyrim, which we don't have installed yet. So, interesting that that could cause you problems, but it looks like it's not. This is really just an animations package, so I'm not sure why it would cause us problems, but or why there would be a dependency. But um, apparently it's not causing any crashes. But if we do have crashes, that could be why, because we don't have bathing in Skyrim installed yet. So, yeah. All right, anyway, I'm going to stop here, guys, and we'll uh, pick this up in the next video when we'll start in with the other fixes section. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.